come here. I don't know what's going on. Come on, guys. What's happened? Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Help. You need help. You need help. Henry and Neil are initially unaware oh, mate, that this is a staged oh, exercise. Is he conscious? No, he's unconscious. Right, hang on, we've got, we've got someone unconscious. He's conscious. He's all right. We've got. Need a radio. Need a radio. They're being put to the test to see how they shape up to a desert emergency. It's all right, mate. Right. Yeah, he's got a pulse. He's breathing. He's breathing. Analyzing them in this stressful and realistic scenario is Chief Medic Paul Calicott. Okay, guys, stop there. All right, Paul, could you switch that horn off, please? How did you feel when you when you rolled around the corner and saw that? What? what... Well, I've got to say, horrendous. Uh, what really worried me was that I don't know how to use that kit. Yeah. And I didn't know what to do, effectively. Now, Hodgie, you went straight for Mac, and just by doing something as simple as rolling him onto his side, you've saved his life. <laughs> if you leave somebody like that on their back... They'll die. They'll die. Yeah. Henry, we know just straight away, without any medical training, this guy's screaming, therefore he's breathing. All right? Always be suspicious as a really quiet casualties. Right. All I can say is the lessons that we learn are, number one, how remote we are. Number two is let's get familiar with this kit. Well, first of all, I actually feel slightly in shock. It's a lot harder than you think it's going to be doing something like that. You need to know what to do because it is a panic situation. If it happens for real, the adrenaline goes up and you can't focus, you can't think straight. And so just to have this basic prep is enough to potentially save lives. It's been a wake-up call for the boys. The next time, it could be for real. Good way again. Walking up. No, I like that kind of stuff. It's the way to learn. Definitely the way to learn. They also have a new respect for their emergency kit they must carry at all times. After a couple of hours of relatively straightforward driving, they're met by a major obstacle. It's a rutted, dried-out riverbed that demands precise manoeuvring. This looks like a job for... What's that? Hey, I know it's Superman. Never done this before. <laughs> Drag down river pit. Drag. I've got to say, this is the sort of thing I do very, very often. Oh yeah. Yeah, and it's cool though. Of the journey, this is probably the coolest part for for just something totally different. I'm saying it does look like the Wild West around here. It's really cool. Over the last two thousand years, this hostile region has claimed countless lives. It's no surprise this place is known as the Fury of God. It's like we're driving across the moon, I tell you. That is unbelievable. You got it. Look at this valley. What a journey. It just keeps getting better. <laughs> 